Hey everyone, let's talk about Santorini again and that mysterious volcanic seismic crisis. So yesterday the seismic storm seemed to show a decline with only like 60 earthquakes in the last 24 hours that have been recorded. That was the lowest number in 24 days, but it looks like today that it's increasing a little bit again with some interesting locations. So we didn't see quakes magnitude 4.0 in the last 24 hours. Um, but uh, we're seeing something in the higher ranges again today. The schools are still closed out of precaution and they are set to remain closed until February 28th. Some viewers have reported in the comments that they have booked vacations some a few months out and that they have been canceled by the hotels. So that is interesting as well. And we know the cruise ship liners are avoiding the ports of Santorini right now. So let's, before we go deeper into everything, and you know, I've reported just recently that the fish seem to disappear. And I just released a video about Campi Flegri super volcano in Italy, where the fishermen are reporting that the fish basically come out cooked in their net. They're observing a phenomenon that that one fisherman that I'm reporting about hasn't seen in almost 40 years that he's fishing there. That video is in the end screen, guys. You should look that up. But now, Santorini, let's have a look at the current situation. Let's zoom in here. Everything that's pink that are the recent earthquakes within the last six hours, but also the red ones, that's 12 at a maximum of 12 hours ago. So also something that's six hours and five minutes ago. And look at that. I haven't seen anything here in the last few weeks when the swarm began. And it's kind of in line here. And we know that there is the magma chamber underneath the island of Santorini, where there's also a land rise detected in this area and in this area. And the Theory is that there was a magma intrusion going on basically between the island of Amorgos, that is here, and the island of Santorini. And that's why we've seen these earthquake swarms there. And if we zoom in, and uh, gosh, I had a really good layer that was showing us more of these fault lines. It's, it's hard to, let's see which one it is. No, that's not this one there you see it a little bit better. There's lots of old extinct craters in the area. There's fault lines and that magma that has intruded in these areas, of course, that did cause the earthquakes. That did cause the rumbling because it needed to form a new tunnel, needed to build a new tunnel here. But also all these fault lines that are in these areas, that magma was kind of like a lubricant, like oil lubricating these fault lines. And, and then if there was a fault line that was still Stuck, for example, and, and you, you lubricate it, it was moving, causing probably the larger earthquakes that we have seen. But then also, by causing these larger tremors, the ground gets brittle, there's new cracks, stuff that is opening up, and there's room for that magma to flow into. And also through the rumbling, we could see changes in that magma chamber there so that more could leak out or not. But now look at this earthquake here. If I zoom in, that is is interesting, right? Um, there's, by the way, um, Christiana. There is another volcano there. So is that all affected now by this constant rumbling? You know, it's just one earthquake but it's magnitude 2.5 and interesting. I don't know if that's correct or not at a depth of 300 kilometers. So that we will have to wait and see. So th that is interesting, but the location is interesting. The latest one, that's the one that's blinking here, magnitude 1.9 at a depth of 10 kilometers. And there you see, it's already the 24th, in uh, Greece, in Europe, from North America, if you're on the West Coast and North America, it's there nine hours ahead, it's plus nine hours. Um, so that 1.9, that's the latest, the day begins with another earthquake. And then we had a 2.0 also in that swarm area, another 2.0, a little bit further east 
and a 2.5 that was the one that we have seen here a 2.6 also in that swarm here again and all the last ones that we've seen here they're a little bit up here and in the east so what else did we have we had a 3.0 also in this area so something's going on there 3.0 is still significant if you look at Campi Flegri if they have something over two they're like whoa and it was felt widely because they're so shallow at Campi Flegri and 3.0 and then 2.8 2.8 so there is something happening there now this one is somewhere completely different that they have shown in that list but you know there's waves this can travel um let's zoom in again so that we can see what's going on here again and we just had another one you see we had another one 2.2 that is here in this location so this is not over yeah there was a little bit of a decline in number of earthquakes and we haven't seen the fives and the fours that we have seen but we still see the threes and we still see that it's all happening within that cluster. So let's go back a little bit, like we just had a 3.6. I showed you same area where we have the recent one. 2.9, that's also larger, that is here. Shallow depth, that could be a magma intrusion, right? That could be the magma, and then they can go deeper down, and that could be the fault lines or even magma from deeper depth. It's hard to tell, but definitely something's still rumbling there. We've got the 2.9, then there was a 2.4, and another 2.0, another 2.4. You know, you see the list, there was a 3.0, another 3.0, and not much time in between them. So it wasn't a constant rumbling that like every five minutes, we've had that in the last two weeks. But still, there was a 3.5 that wasn't in this area. That's not related to that magma intrusion and, and rumbling that we're seeing here. But uh, you get the point, right? On the 23rd, it's been more earthquakes than on the 22nd. It seems at least the magnitudes, how I feel it, were higher again. So I don't think this is over. And no, guys, it isn't over. So while I was editing this video, another 3.8 in that cluster that we're seeing right now. But then while I was editing further, it was a 3.7 and a 3.8 also in that cluster. But then something further to the west again in that area where I've been wondering that dot is now red. But look at the, the pink circle with the white circle around it. Another 2.8. And there's news from a seasoned Greek scientist. He's really an expert and he warns that the volcano in Nea Kameni, in this little island that's within the Santorini crater caldera, has been activated. So what does that mean? He basically said, the activation of the volcano so far hasn't led to seismic activity. So he doesn't think that this volcano you, we don't see clusters of seismic activity right underneath Nia Kamini. We have seen some, but not like a big, big cluster that would tell us magma's rising, trying to break out there for another eruption. Scientists are saying they are on yellow alert. And his name is Panagiotis Papadimitriou. So what has he to say? He is warning that this volcano has been activated since late January. That's when this monstrous earthquake swarm began that we're still dealing with. And he's an emeritus professor of seismology at the University of Athens. And he said that activation so far hasn't led to many earthquakes, but we really have to be careful because he says the seismic activity that we're seeing in the area of Santorini in the Aegean Sea it will either weaken, which we all hope for, or it will lead to an earthquake. And he says magnitude six or 6.3. But we know in 1959, we had a 7.7 .7 there that has triggered a tsunami and a small eruption of the Nia Kamini Island. So he thinks even if there's a 6.3, it's not forecasted to cause a serious impact on the surrounding islands as the distance from the epicenter then would be over 12.4 miles, so over 20 kilometers. But he said 
if that were to happen, this would accelerate the completion of the current seismic sequence. So if I understand him right, that will, would relieve, relieve the stress. So is he kind of hinting, okay, let's end it with a big bang, but then it's over? You know, this small volcanic island of Nea Kameni, uh, I don't even know if I, for me, this is part of the main part of Santorini, but it is a very, very popular tourist attraction. And it looks like just a lava field, basically. It looks like a completely, like a moon landscape. It's, there's nothing, right? Um, and And all... Over Santorini, we have 3.5 million tourists annually, and of course, they are going over there too to look at that. We will have to see. The state of emergency is still declared till March 3rd. Will they extend it or not? Depends on what's going to happen now. Good news is, and I hope they can afford it. The Greek government has announced that they are considering an aid package to mitigate the economic effects of this monstrous phenomenon that's happening there, the seismic swarm in and around the island of Santorini. The trend already indicates a significant decline in bookings ahead of the, the coming summer season. So the finance minister has said the package will be activated if the island's seismic activity persists for an extended period of time because they're all aware that a prolonged seismic threat could lead to cancellations, reduced visitor numbers, of course, and revenue losses for everyone on the island. And it could also likely affect more sectors that could be a ripple effect like agriculture and commerce if they, if they can't do their job. Maybe they will also wait for the results of a new study that they're currently conducting. Um, they're studying Santorini's terrain and they're, they want to identify areas that are at high risk of landslide because we already have like 22,000 earthquakes recorded in the region. That can make rock brittle and loose. And the whole island, it's a volcanic crater. So this is not solid rock. There's tephra, there's ash layers. So this can be brittle and slide. And we've seen this with a lot of volcanoes that, that have landslides or causing crater collapses, causing tsunamis, causing big problems. And 18,650 of these earthquakes have extended the magnitude one. So are above magnitude one. That's significant. That's crazy. So the University of Athens is leading this research. Basically, they have an interdisciplinary committee for risk and crisis management. And uh, there's several professors that are assessing the slopes of the island, uh, which have, and they, they already know that, have been destabilized by this seismic activity. And if you've seen the pictures, they have built a lot into the cliffs with breathtaking views, with pools right at the edge of the cliffs. I've already reported in my previous videos, some of them don't have a permit, some of them don't have foundations that are strong enough. So they have just built, built, built to get the revenue in. So these structures, if something happens, nobody should slide down the cliff with like tourists in the pool or people that live there. So the risks in this area, despite the fact that the seismic activity has uh, decreased a little bit, um, remains high in these areas with steep gradients because should we, there be some rain or other earthquakes, right? There's weak rock composition and there's a lot of human activity. Um, there's zones of differential erosion where softer rocks erode easier and they expose harder layers. And these areas are particularly vulnerable as they are volcanic lava formations, right? So what they're hoping for, what they think is the most likely scenario, that's a gradual de-escalation of the seismic activity. That is seems to happen right now. Um, the less probable scenario they hope involves that magnitude six and higher earthquake, but that could damage quite a few buildings. Their estimate is two to 300 buildings in this caldera area. And uh, they still say they're not expecting any volcanic eruption in the near future, at least not 
on the island of Santorini. There are some underwater volcanoes, Colombo. Um, they hope that it will remain dormant for the next 10,000 years. Do I share their hope? Mm, not so much. If we see that the sky has a land rise, has a gradually filling up magma chamber that is almost as full as it was when Colombo erupted last time, we have strong fumaroles coming out from the seafloor at Colombo. So earthquakes are there at Colombo. They were very concerned last year. They had four seismic stations down there. Now they have added four more. So, uh, I'm not so sure, right? They're saying the schools will remain closed until the end of the week for psychological reasons. That's an interesting reason. Um, the schools don't have structural damage, that's what they said, but psychological reasons. So I, I guess it's scary when this thing rumbles all the time. Um, access restrictions on the island are still based on risk levels and measures to prevent overcrowding in hazardous areas at uh, tsunami risks were also assessed. Uh, they think they're not expecting waves to exceed three to four meters in height, but we've seen 25 meter up to 80 feet or higher waves when that 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake, that was by the way, followed by a 6.9 magnitude earthquake hit Santorini in 1969. So I don't think anybody can say that this is out of the picture because we just don't know enough what's going on down there. And they have never had anything like this before, such an intense, continuous tremor over such a long period of time. And then they're saying the sentence, we've discussed this about Campi Flegre, where the scientists of the INGV got angry and said, this is just blah, blah. Um, if you say you're monitoring it, that does not guarantee safety at all. And they're also saying here, that's their official statement, um, as Santorini prepares for the upcoming tourist season, the committee emphasized the need for coordinated efforts to ensure safety and operational readiness. The findings aim to balance risk management with the island's economic and social activities, ensuring Santorini remains both safe and accessible. Balance the risk management with the economic factors that's a sentence that I never like too much, but so far I think they're doing a good job. Should they have evacuated the island in full? Uh, I would have done it, I think, just as a precaution. And many residents left voluntarily. They said, yeah, we can survive another 7.7 .7 if we have help. But not a volcanic eruption and they weren't sure, right? And at the beginning, everyone said it's just tectonic, but it's absolutely clear that it's volcanic and it's probably only volcanic. And that activity has triggered some fault lines in the area. So it still remains very, very interesting, guys. And I hope you follow me down the road. And I hope if you're new here, welcome to the channel. I hope you liked it. I hope you subscribe. And I hope that everyone gives me a like for this video. That would be awesome, guys. And if you want to support the channel, become a supporting member of the channel. The link is in the description or click the join button. Check out my membership a video list, the playlist. It's only for members. They can watch it. Uh, you can see the thumbnails and the headlines if that's something that interests you. Yeah, support me through that or buy me coffees on my buymeacoffee.com slash silky site the link is also in the description and of course the supers you're sending me here guys I'm, I'm very very grateful for that everything goes to my animals right now my dog's fighting cancer and my horses need to eat a lot of hay we've just had February wasn't a good month it was cold lots of snow now we have an atmospheric river coming down with lots of rain so there's always something guys and and an earthquake was in the mix maybe you have seen the video while it was lifting me up here so lots of things going on guys i hope you're all doing good and uh you're safe and healthy and i wish you all the best and i'm so looking forward to interact with you again and to see you here on my channel thanks for that guys and we just hit we did it we just hit 65,000 subscribers. So to all of my subscribers, you are awesome. You're making this possible. Yay. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.